Hi there, this is Catherine. Thanks you for listening to my SEO Tips micro podcast. So before we get into today's SEO tip, I just wanted to share with you the ways you can support the podcast if you're enjoying all the tips and finding them useful. So you can send me a donation at buymeacoffee.com slash Catherine W. Ong, O-N-G. And that's Catherine with a K. Any and all levels of donation are appreciated. It will help me offset the cost of producing the podcast. So that's buymeacoffee.com slash K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E-W-O-N-G. I'd also encourage you to subscribe to our email list to make sure you're not missing any future episodes or any other news about the SEO Tips podcast. And to do that, you'd go to wostrategies.com slash newsletter. Okay, on with today's tip. Let's talk about a few digital marketing tips for new food brands. So do you need to create digital marketing strategy for the discovery of a new food brand? If so, this tip is for you. If you're working on launching a strategy for the discovery of a new brand, your work is less about SEO for your brand terms and more about optimizing for discovery when your target audience is browsing, as they won't yet know your brand's name. Trying to be found with that kind of online behavior brings to the forefront different online platforms that excel at that type of discovery. And the three big players are Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. It turns out that 97% of Pinterest searches are non-branded. That facilitates brand discovery. And 70% of weekly pinners discover new products on Pinterest that they were not proactively searching for. As an active Pinterest user, none of this surprised me, frankly. Uh, And not surprisingly, the global pandemic has accelerated Pinterest's role in particularly the grocery decision-making process. So starting in March 2020, Pinterest saw an increase in online grocery activity, with the number of online purchases that Pinterest drove to grocery retailers jumping by nearly 70% over February, and that trend accelerated in April. Here's a little bit more from Pinterest's study. Quote, Before the pandemic, two in three pinners shopped for groceries online at least once every two weeks, 14% more likely to do so than non-pinners, and the types of recipes they were looking for have also changed. In April, Pinterest saw searches for quick, easy meals for dinner, increasing 153% over the previous month. So Pinterest definitely needs to be part of your strategy. Let's talk about Instagram. Instagram is a social network where discovery of new brands is possible via browsing. It's also a network with a massive food focus. There were over 340 million posts on Instagram for hashtag food in 2019, and brands interested in appearing in that environment need to obviously post a visually appealing food photos. So let's talk a little bit about YouTube. So YouTube plays a huge role in food products and idea discovery when a user is browsing, Here are some stats from its albeitedly very dated 2014 report from Google. And frankly, we can only assume that these trends are more pronounced now. Nearly half of all adults watch food videos on YouTube, and 75% of that is mobile. And on YouTube, food videos drive first-time website visitors to the tune of about 75%. With 500 hours of video uploaded every minute, on YouTube. Video discovery requires paid promotion, as well as a well-established channel and an engagement strategy. As 70% of what people watch on YouTube is actually determined by its recommendation algorithm. So you can work to influence that recommendation algorithm through smart video targeting, playlist optimization, um, tagging, sorry, not targeting, tagging, playlist optimization, YouTube partnerships, And keep in mind your paid activity, your promotions on YouTube, go to your organic view counts, not like Google search where those are completely separate. And if you use YouTube TrueView ads, brands often see that their existing content views increase by up to 500% after they post new videos. All right, so let's circle back around. In 2017, multiple years ago, three years ago, 50% of grocery sales were influenced by digital marketing. But obviously, there's been an increase in online grocery shopping due to the pandemic, so it's reasonable to assume that that influence has increased. The global pandemic has led to more online searches and purchases, and it's also changed our search preferences um, based on our new collective way of living. And all of this has impacted food decisions. So based on recent data, an estimated 50% of all U.S. consumers have now grocery shopped online. It's a 40% increase over last year. And U.S. voice-driven searches across all categories are now at about 50%, which is what they kind of predicted in 2020. 
Um, <clears throat> voice searches are also impacting food purchasing behavior. In 2020, you can tell this based on what the brands are doing. So in 2020, Amazon, Walmart, Kroger, and other grocery retailers have rolled out voice-driven grocery purchasing options. And this trend of purchasing groceries online and researching food product information online is going to only increase. So if you're working in digital marketing and you happen to be working for a new food product or brand, I would highly recommend that you create a discovery plan using YouTube, Pinterest, and Instagram, and also supporting those channels with pay promotion, as well as looking at executing a voice search strategy for organic discovery. So that's your tip for today. Thanks for listening. Come back tomorrow for another SEO tip.